Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're carrying on with our Lord Master Mundi campaign. Now we're taking the fight to Marcus Fulfart, even though um, I was kind of trying to avoid this, but uh, I think we need another ritual site, and this one's nearby, and we now have some allies nearby that can help us out. So, you know, it's going to happen. It's going to happen, guys. Uh, also, this should be a fun little battle, so let's get to it. Alright, so... Pterodons are going to be in a bit of a bind, but if I come from behind, I should be able to throw off the uh, the ranged units. They're going to be hiding back there. Oh, I can't I can't hang out on that ziggurat. That's annoying. Guess you can go over there then. Cool. Uh, and now let's get the blessed ones in the middle, roughly. That's evenly spaced. That's nice. I like it. Looks pretty. <laughs> so you lot can line up. Uh, what is great about Temple Guard is they do have shields, despite being halberd units, which is uh, which is fairly rare. Just fairly rare. Off the top of my head, I can't actually think of any other units that have that. Uh, I think there are though. Tomb Guard, Tomb Guard, I think also um, have that same benefit. But generally, halberd units don't have the benefits of shields. Go get them. And uh, I guess you lot can all run in too. Good. Alright, what's the plan here, then? Uh, I could net a bunch of these guys. Mm, let's just use this a bit randomly. Okay, let's go get those Huntsmen. Okay, Carnosaur can go deal with, uh, with Roderick, even though he's anti-large, but wow, we hit him pretty hard. <laughs> nice. Uh, now, let's go with... A banishment over here. Oh, 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 come on, come on, before they run. Is he going the right way? No. No, not really. <laughs> Get out of there, guys. Get out of there. Ah, this is good. Great swordsman. Let's show them that they're not that great. Oh, no, 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 you get out of here. Good. Okay, keep on moving. Let's get a blessed chameleon skinks to keep moving too. Alright, how are we looking now? Uh, let's debuff our enemies a little. Might as well, eh? Might as well. And we have a croxagors I'm going to go kill Marcus with. That'll teach him. Alright, let's get you over here too. Okay, there's a lot of enemies starting to build up over here. Where is Croak? Here he is. Right, let's hit them as well. Let's drop rocks on them. Nice. That's what I like to see. Alright, how are things looking? Okay, we popped them. Not as much as I would have liked, but that wasn't bad. Alright, let's uh, let's just dive on top of these guys. We do cause fear, of course. Go get Kalara. You start chasing those handgunners down. Start pushing in this way. I'm actually going to send the blessed Croxagors that way. I think we can easily collapse on top of these grey swords. Okay, Roderick's getting very hurt, which I'd like to see. Marcus Wolfhart is getting dealt with. And... Yeah, alright, hit with another spell. Alright, you guys keep moving. You guys keep moving. We'll need to deal with Jodic over here as well. So, alright, we're on our way. We're on our way. Okay, start shooting that guy. And go kill Marcus, won't you? Hello, boy. <laughs> this is going well. Yeah, he's just going to get lasered to death. Perfect. And, I mean, there is a Marcus Wolfart in here somewhere. There he is. Yeah, things aren't going so well for him. And let's net these guys. Unlucky mates. Unlucky. Perfect. And he's going over here. Graze, how have we not won yet? Is someone unbreakable? No. No, there we go, that's army losses. Well played, boys. Well played. There's a Vamantog. Such a cruel way to deal with uh, with crossbowmen. 
Oh, someone is unbreakable. Yodok is unbreakable for now. Just for now. Now he's not. Yeah, he had an item. There he goes. Bye, Yodok. Silly lad. Alright, decisive victory. Excellent. Really shows Marcus, who's boss in Lustria. Absolutely slaughtered him. I guess Occupy it. Again, we do have the option to, to awaken a tribe, but no. No, no. We're going to take this area. Hunted down. Defeated Marcus Wolfhart. Actually, okay, so the, the Lord's army gets extra missile strength, which is pretty good. That's not too bad. And also the missile resistance is nice for Mazda Mundi. So this time, the hunter became the hunted, losing out to an opponent altogether more dogged, dangerous, and downright lethal than himself. Yeah, Mazda Mundi is very uh, dogged. Man's ruin. Kill them. Kill them all. Their fake gods will recognize their own, if indeed they exist. Well, uh, the if indeed they exist is sort of been made redundant by you calling them fake to begin with, so... But sure. Sure, you do you. It's Land Force Field. Marvellous. And Gullivec, everyone's favourite Cardassian. Let's get thick-skinned. Uh, I keep saying he's a favourite, just because I think that he is a Cardassian in Deep Space Nine. In Star Trek, but... Um, but Gullivec might be a horrible monster. It just dawned on me that I might be, you know, somehow aligning myself to some pretty dark politics. They were not, the Cardassians were not a uh, kind people, let's say. So, you know, obviously take it with a pinch of salt. So, uh, where are we going? Where are we going? What are we doing? Nothing. I think we're probably ending the turn. Because this is just going to, uh, do, uh, we just have to hope that our new, our new allies over here will hold out. I can't be bothered to interject, or intervene, or enter anything. Now, Sorceress Islands are here. Trade agreement. Hell yeah. Didn't I tell you? If you want trade in the late game, and no one wants to trade with you, Tomb Kings. Go meet the Tomb Kings. They are so eager to please. Let's, um... Yeah, let's just end the turn now, I think. Uh, Krapis. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous name. Uh, let's get him some more skinks and call it a day. Uh, can you trade again? He can trade again. He's going to give us some money as well. Perfect. Marvellous. And uh, Sarkar, he got uh, another level up. So that's nice. Appreciate that. And what should we get for Karapis? I know what we're going to get. We're going to get some skin oracles. Because we have all of the things built now, actually, don't we? I just want to make sure we get buildings before I blow all my money on heroes, which I will absolutely do. So yeah, we can get four of them. We can get one in every army. We're not going to put one in, um, we're not going to put an oracle in Mazda Mundi's army, because he's got Lord Croak already. But the rest, getting some extra spell casting and dinosaur powers. Um, I mean, these are both quite good. I mean, I mean, psychology is kind of pointless, actually. That's a terrible trait. Let's get Lock Galon. Lock Galon. All right, let's get you. Increased mobility is very, very nice. And telepathic connection. Uh, gorilla fighter we don't actually really need. Natural camouflage is very cool though. Having stalk on on something that's like carnosaur levels or terrifying is amazing. Uh, wind blast is also a brilliant spell for crowd control. And I guess earth I guess earth blood to keep us in the fight would be nice. So let's do that. Uh, and then life bloom and Wild Heart, then we'll start getting some of the combat stuff. We don't need all the spells, because we do have a Slan Mage Priest in all of our armies, you know? So, it really is just filling out some, uh, some holes. So, you can head over there, and I won't hire another Troglodon yet, but don't they look amazing, the Skink Oracles? Great addition to the game, absolutely love them. They were so much fun in uh, my Oxyotl campaign. Now, unfortunately, the Oxyotl campaign, we finished before they patched um, the, the Oracle, uh, recruitment capacity, there was a bug where building, the buildings that would normally give you high capacity wasn't giving them. So this, here, wasn't putting up Skink Oracle hero capacity, so you were stuck with just the one that you got at the start of the game, and that was it. You couldn't recruit anymore. It was really bad. It was a real shame. I would have had loads of them otherwise. But, uh, still, still really fun to use in the Oxyotl campaign. Really good campaign, by the way. You should go check it out. It's a nice long one. We got a lot done. 
a lot of fun adventures. It was good. So, let's go to Tight Slam, shall we? They got a plague on the go at the moment. Which would be very bad if Mazda Mundi caught it, honestly. Two more turns. I think we're going to risk it. Teclis is on his way over here, but it looks like our allies are going to fend him off. Uh, we have a bit of a garrison there. I think we'll be okay. And again, I'm not really fussed about the Ogre mercenaries. So it's fine. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Uh, also, hang on. Let's have a look. So a Scar veterans, I can get some as well. Uncompromising. Tough. Confident. Uh, fine, I guess. I guess I go with tough. Let's go tough. I want one of these two. Because ideally, I want a Carnosaur over there. And we are actually, what, one turn away? Three turn. Three, not turns. Levels. We're three levels away from getting a Carnosaur, which is fine. It's not terrible. Not awful, you know. Boom, and Blade Shield. Marvellous. Very good to have that, just straight away. So you can head to Carapis. Uh, I also want one over here. Ideally. They do have a Skink Priest and a... He has a lot. He has a lot going on. This guy could do with a... Uh, a Scar Veteran, no? Oh, we're on two out of two. Shame. Genuinely shame. I would like a Scar Veteran in every army. Uh, maybe, over in Tlaxtalan, I will build a... Um, another another building, just for uh, Saurus Warriors. So we can get more of those. Or, in, in this area, because I might take this over too, just so I have this coast on lockdown. Because that way I can sail from one side to the other, so I can have both of these areas covered a little bit more easily. You know, I can swap armies around a bit better. So, you know, because that's the thing, the Fallen Gates, they don't work anymore. We can't, we can't zip around the map. We can't teleport. You know, en masse like that. So, a bit of a hassle, really. And Teclos has attacked Tlaxla, which is annoying, because... Well, it just is, isn't it? Um, I think we can defeat this, though. The real problem are the Shadow Warriors, because I can't just chase them down like I normally would. Because they're going to be able to shoot back as I chase them around. Which is a bit of a pickle. Uh, but generally, I think I might be able to win this. I'm very annoyed our allies are nowhere to be seen. Because if Teclis takes this over, our allies are going to go next. So they might end up taking this territory and just screwing me out of getting getting this whole region. So Teclis has really screwed me here. I'm amazed he just dived through our allies like that. Although, are our allies actually at war with Teclis? Oh, damn. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure. Oh, crap. I think I might have told them not to bother. Oh, actually, no, I declared war before I had them, because it was Teclis' territory that I attacked and then awakened that tribe from his territory. So, actually, yeah, there wouldn't have been a war declaration for him. That's very annoying. That is very frustrating. Okay, well, I guess we're fighting it, and we'll have to win, won't we? Alright, so this would be great to just have, like, a choke point, but he's got range superiority, so I can't really do anything about that. So, okay, you go over there, I suppose. Um, saw us out in front, over here. Then we'll get you lot hidden in here, along with you lot. So they're all hidden. We also have cavalry um, that I might actually hide as well. I'm going to hide basically everything. I'm going to hide basically everything. Mm, we should probably shimmy them over. I don't know whether they'll be able to shoot me from there, though, is the problem. Uh, so is there anything else? Nah, that's everybody, huh? Alright, let's get you over here, because they'll be able to spot them. And I'll come for you. Alright, let's speed this way up. But yeah, this should should be useful for getting on top of them. What I might have to do is actually have the Cold on Spear Riders go right around this way, so I'm not just pushing them back across this area. Uh, using Regrowth. Oh boys, they have a lot of magic, which is going to be a bit of a pain. So we spotted them, which is good. I like that. I wish we had some magic or something we could hit them with. I really do. Okay. Let's move you. 
Yeah, whenever you're ready, mate. Go on. Really, you're just getting so tangled in... Oh, guys, you're not even attacking. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay. So we are suffering some range damage already. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, we're just going to withstand this fight. Uh, fine. Idiot. Absolute idiot. You can hit your own troops with that fireball. No, they are going to hit us. Okay, fine. And uh, yeah, we have the trees as cover. Which is very handy. Okay, this should work out okay. Just everyone shoot them. Perfect. Okay, let's get stuck in. And a big range damage, please. Okay. Maybe we got this. Maybe we got this. And yeah, these are spears, so hopefully the silver helms won't last. This is a bit of a pickle, but hopefully getting some shots into the rear will help. They're getting absolutely slaughtered, which is wonderful. That's what I love to see. Right, here we go. Now should get on top of these shadow warriors. Hopefully we can tear through those a little quicker. And yep, they don't know how to use fire magic, which is perfect. Love that. Big fan. Big fan of their ineptitude. Really suits me. Okay. Yeah, you guys are doing okay. Not great, but okay. Alright, let's start trying to get that flank going. And our skirmishers. I'm going to shoot into the rear of these spearmen. Let's pin all these guys down so they can't keep shooting us. Oh, we can flank with these guys now. Excellent. Marvellous. Got a great flank going. I'm not enjoying the cold on spear riders getting as hurt as they are by shadow warriors, though. <clears throat> That's a bit embarrassing. Yeah, you guys doing okay? Yeah? Doing okay? Little skinks? Hopefully. Hopefully. And, yeah, things are looking a little iffy. For our Saurus Warriors over here. Yeah, there's Techless and that over here. This is, yeah, problematic. But I think we're okay. These guys are struggling a little. So I like to see. Yeah, this is... We're very stretched here. Come on, guys. Okay, keep chasing them. Okay, do I rear charge them now? That's, uh... That's a thought. Okay, I'm going to charge them. I'm going to charge them. Let's see how this goes. If one of these breaks... Then I think we're laughing. Okay, this one's about to break. Come on, this one breaks, and yeah, they're all starting to waver. We're good. Alright, time to get the Pterodon Riders in. So bombs would have actually been very useful. Over here, um, I just realised. That's okay. And, oh, those are other Shadow Warriors. Oh, come on, guys. Flipping Fireball. Jerks. Oh, it looks like these guys have collapsed, though. We have so many units now. Which is very good news. Okay. Let's get over here. Start shooting Tackless. And start shooting them. That arcane... No, it's Enfeebling Foe. We're not in melee, so thanks. Thanks for wasting your time. Brilliant. So it looks like we defeated Tackless. You know, he could still sit here and fight us for quite a while, but I don't like his odds. Let's try and slip these guys around in a few different spots so we're shooting from different angles. Come on. It's a bit hard to move on these areas sometimes. 
And oh, oh, okay. Come back here, little swine. Looks like okay. Our cavalry's still good, so we should be able to get our anti-large on top of Teclas here. Good news. Oh, how are you not doing? Still some spearmen coming, but that's uh, that's nothing too bad. So we are dealing with these guys, supposedly. You guys got a bit. Oh. Well, all right. Be that way. Jerk. All right, let's go get him. How are you guys doing? You took a lot of ammunition already. Where are you going? Stop that. Okay, he's breaking. And so is Teclas. Brilliant. There we go. Job done. And that's a lot of dead elves. And we managed to keep this settlement, which means our allies aren't going to screw us by taking one of our settlements. Marvellous work. Okay, let's uh, go with... I'm actually going to kill and eat them. I want to make sure we're not uh, losing out on any replenishment there. Okay, brilliant. Let's take Tlight Slam. Now we got an Astromancer as well. I have to equip that. Unless it's already equipped. Let's have a look. Uh, Astromancer. Sorry, Astronomer. Not to be confused with an Astromancer. So, Ancient Plaques. That's equipped. That's brilliant. More Ancient Plaques. Because right now, Nagarond is way ahead of us. Which is really annoying. Uh, decisive victory. Sure will. I really hope we don't get the plague. That would be very annoying. Right, let's get rid of that. Even though actually I was saying we want to lose buildings. Let's get rid of that instead. So the growth is going to be affected by that too, which is a shame. And now I actually need the other growth buildings built. So I'm going to get rid of that lumber and get rid of that income building, sadly. And, oh, Hans Hertwig. Has a hell of an army there. Hell of an army. If we get the plague, we're a sitting duck. It'd be real bad. Real bad for us. I'll have to run away. I'll probably lose this territory. It'd be very sad. Uh, Arcane Unforging might be nice. Upgrading Apotheosis isn't a bad idea, to be honest. Uh, Ancient Cunning. Get some more ambushes. More Harmonic Convergence. I do like Harmonic Convergence. It is very powerful. Let's get that built. Built? I always say built. You know what I mean. Uh, yeah, Scarred Veteran. Let's go with that. Oh, Thick Skinned I could have leveled up. It doesn't matter. We'll get everything at some point. Lord Croak. What should we get you? The extra missile resist is probably good. He is weak to missiles. Just because he's a big boy. That can easily get shot. Supreme Shield of the Old Ones would be good too. Although I always forget to use these shields. I'll go missile resist. I think that's just naturally going to benefit us. You know? It's just a low effort way. Of getting benefit. Alright, we'll head to Carapis, please. And uh, let's get some Pterodon Riders recruiting. I probably should just move him. I can move him just to there and, and get the recruitment we want, so <laughs> let's just do that. Oh, wait, I can't. How come? Oh, because that's not the one. It's over here now. I forgot, we moved our birds. Well, that's silly. Now I feel silly. I've just lost a turn of recruitment. Oh, I guess not. I can still get more skinks. Oh, and I get some more dinosaurs as well, once we get the beast lair built. Get some feral troglodons. That could be fun. So, yeah, Mukip here is at war with these guys. Maybe he could take that? I kind of hope he doesn't, though. Uh, Sacred Pools, not a bad place for us. It's only unpleasant. So that's almost tempting as well, considering it's a, it's a big settlement. It's got potential. Hmm. I'm really just spreading way out now, aren't I? I really am. Okay, so let's move out of here. And hopefully it means you won't get the plague. Hopefully. We're probably going to get the plague, though. And we do have a commandment to do now. Brilliant. Alignment of crafting. Marvellous. Alright. And then... Let's have a look at troglodons again. Uh, skink oracle. Determined or... Let's go strong. So you head to Haxo. Uh, I mean, we have Skink Priests in both of these armies. We're just going to have a lot of spellcasters, basically. Some of these will be free, though, to cast, which is good. Uh, Windblast is a great one. Get some Earth Blood for the extra health. 
Evasion, Life Bloom, Wild Heart, Magical Reserves. And finally, I guess increased mobility I should have put more points into, but we can do that as we level. Because yeah, getting these guys around as quickly as possible is going to be really important for protecting our lesser um you know, our lesser settlements. Our minor settlements. Where all our mines are. Uh technology, let's have a look. So I'm headed for this one. Seven turns, I get the big bonus from mines. I mean, more gold mines would be nice. I mean, there's there's another one down in Itza, and another two down here and uh, here, though that would mean taking over most of Lustria, and I'm not willing to do that. Not willing to do that. Okay, Vortex Ritual is available, but I'm not doing it yet. Let's crack on. Oh, and of course we have Fikrik still trying to discover um, Tomb Kings for us. I don't know if, if the followers of Nagash have taken over everything. That would be unfortunate. Interestingly enough, if Vress has been destroyed, there are Dark Elves on Ulthuan. Brilliant. So we're probably not going to have to worry too much about uh, Irtane. However, we are going to have to worry about Nagarond. And I just realised the Skaven aren't on this anymore. Which means that Skrulk and Queek must have been wiped out. And possibly someone else. I don't know how how many redundancies there are. Because I know that if Skrulk dies, well, if Queek dies, it goes to Skrulk, the Vortex Ritual. But, like, there's no Skaven on here anymore, which is really impressive to say that uh, they are wrapped up in the story to uh, quite a large extent. Very odd. Very odd to see. Uh, mission aborted. We didn't raise enough, so we didn't get the uh, blessed something or others. I forget what. Uh, blessed Chameleon Skinks. Kill enemies in battle. Well, these will get easily. But yeah, Blessed Chameleon Skinks. Kind of nice. Be nice to have. The old one, who even Slan of the second generation dare not name aloud, is angry. The skies burn with his wrath. He must be appeased quickly, and in doing so, he may uh, he may issue a sacred spawning, whose reptiles will be special indeed. Uh, these guys might want to trade with us too, you know. Yeah, they don't like us that much, because great power upsets them. But we haven't upset them with rituals, so I was wondering. Um, so I don't know if... If uh, Kemri is still in the fight. I have no idea. But I guess we'll find him sooner or later, right? <laughs> Maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps we will. Um, okay. Let's get these things built. So I want walls on here, obviously. Uh, I do need the old one trove. And this is the unique building. Temple of the Eclipse. In the City of the Moon sits the Temple of the Eclipse, its power reverberating whenever the two moons align. Research rate plus 10%, hero capacity up for Skink Priests, and hero rank up for Skink Priests. Good. Good stuff. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. Um, yeah, we're going to go with foraging camps everywhere. We need this to build up big and strong. And also, that's a full stack again. Jesus. Absolutely All stacks not. everywhere. Uh, well, I'm going to leave this alone, which may be a terrible idea. But we're going to head for the Temple of Tlenkin. Um Because I think I might be able to take that. Um, just immediately. I think I'll be able to just attack them. I mean, they've got, like, Hertwig van Hal and Fedorin Leonardus hanging out over here, but that's fine. I'll just murder them with lizards. And then um, eat them. It's just, just how we roll, you know. Okay, so you are actually going to rely on some global recruitment to get those pterodons, because I don't want to roam around all over the place. So we'll just get three like we normally do. And uh, I think simply having our heroes in this army will probably probably be enough to sort of accent. Because we've got the troglodon, we'll have a carnosaur as well before long. So I think that'll probably do us fine. It's a shame that the um, Slan Mage Priests can't have uh, dinosaur mounts. You know, it's only it's only Mazdamundi that gets that, which is uh, a bit of a shame. Let's go for the income one. Well, income and recruit rank and hero capacity etc. Let's get more troglodons that way. Uh, okay. How's everything looking? Mm, fine. You know, it'll do. <laughs> it's looking like it'll do. So, I mean, to that side, we do need... A couple of things, actually, with the when we get to the next level. See, we're going to need um, a 
uh, the walls. So we're going to need these walls. But also, I'm going to want to build the geomantic pylon as well. We're going to need the same in the Temple of Telenkin as well. Because we need to link these, you see. Because I'm not sure Spectazuma is going to invest in the geomantic web, like I am so consistently doing, as you can see, by this lovely green lark we have going on. So, yeah. We'll figure something out, I'm sure. We'll figure something out. So I think that's it for the turn. So let's move on. Okay, so uh, he's wandered off, which is good. So if this gets taken, I won't immediately lose it. So that's good. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to leave that building slot there. So that way I can, when we get another building slot, I can fill those up appropriately. Um, so that's good. I also probably should put another army there, honestly. I should probably get another one. I can't awaken another one for another turn, though. However, I can just put some random lord there and swap them out. So, uh, I guess I could just put Salbus here. Or Mlakekul. Mlakekul? Weird name. I don't know, he's got something that... I mean, extra melee attack here is in the army. I don't know. What's a good... I guess just that is good, just having him better fighting. I mean, that'll do. We'll just have Salbus. We'll have Salbus here and we'll start making an army. Um, There, there we go. Brilliant. <laughs> Marvellous. Alright, let's do that. Global recruitment is tied up, annoyingly. Uh, Paxo is a procrastinator. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, he has just been sat there the whole time. We're going to get a lot of characters getting that. It's just not that big a debuff, though, so I don't really mind. Um, oh my god, is this still broken? No. Hang on, who is it? So, it's saying that we have a level up, and that's something that often happened with... Oh no, that... It was a different army. I'm sure I clicked. Did it just misclick? It's because I had someone moving to that... Okay, never mind. I'm being an idiot. It swapped my armies after I clicked, because someone entered a new army, I think. Either that, or I just clicked and it did register. Sometimes it doesn't, so... Anyway. Come on, Casandora. Let's get that leveled up some more. Great in a siege. Real good in a siege. Okay, so that's getting built. Um, I think this is enough of an army, honestly. I think it's enough of an army to defend that. So, let's get the Temple of Telenkin. These guys will not last. They just will not last. Hello there. Valiant defeat. Are you kidding me? Wow, they haven't met me. Let's do this. Alright. Uh, let's get these guys lined up down one side. Um, <laughs> just going to charge straight in. Straight for the walls with these guys. Uh, although, actually, maybe I'll keep one aside that can storm the walls with the rest of my boys. Chameleon Skinks, so I'm just going to keep in the back. Proxigors. I suppose they should go for the gates too, huh? Tell you what. Go for the gates over here too. Brilliant. Uh, so let's do that. And I guess I could put Croak over here. Put Croak over here. Mazda Mundi over this way. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, you charge in. You look go for that gate. You look go for that gate. And then Pterodons. How are we going to use these guys exactly? I wonder. We'll figure it out. And, oh, you're just going to take shots, are you? Probably not worthwhile, but <laughs> that's fine. Uh, so, Comet of Cassandora. We can start popping these down somewhere. Not sure where, actually. I guess right on top. Let's do that. I'll throw a banishment over here, too. Okay. Got some good damage on those hand gunners. And, I mean, it looks like they're really just lining up for me here, which is nice. I mean, it's only spearmen up here, of course, but... There we go. Perfect. And uh, then Master Mundi can use... Uh, what's it called? Ruination of Cities over there. And you... And get rid of them for me. So how are things looking? Ooh. 
Alright. Off you go. Get out of there, pterodons. Get out of there. And we're in. So how do we do over here? Basically wiped out everything. Perfect. Uh, I can go further, though. Do you want to hit them? And they got the anti-large, which is something I fear. Not really, but, you know. Technically, I should. Uh, so this is interesting. Oh, I don't have enough for Comet Cassandora again. That's okay. Can't get a banishment up here, either. Which is a damn shame. Alright, let's hit Sterling's Revenge. And then I can get Comet Cassandora up here. Good. Ready? Good. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And here comes the other Comet Cassandora. Come on. Hooray. Love it. And yeah, this is going well. It is going well. How are you lot doing? You broke in? Sure did. You sure did. Okay, let's get some more protection there. And, uh... Yeah, I guess I'll use some more of my winter magic over here. What's in the reserve tank right now? We still have 211 winds of magic in the reserve tank, guys. That is disgusting. Just absurd. Absolutely absurd. Love it. Absolutely love it. Alright, you head off that way. You all can come in. See if you can fit you in there. I don't know. 300 kills for um, Mazda Mundi so far, which is nice. More wagons getting absolutely ransacked. Uh, got a bit of problems here, but it's okay. I can I can heal up. I can heal up. We're good. We're good. Ruination cities again? I do feel like ruinating some cities. And yeah, that's the that's the vocab I'm using. I'm weird. So Oh wow. Yeah, nicely missed our own guys there. Marvellous. Alright, how are you lot doing? Quite well. There's quite a lot of you that are taking a very strange route into town, but that's okay. Alright, how are you lot doing? Fine. Let's um yeah, these guys are a little spread out. I could go with the very big one. Let's do that. Bit of a waste, but I don't care. I really don't care. I have magic to burn. And kablooey. And yep, there they go. <laughs> Thought so. Alright, in you get, lads. In you get. How are you doing? 450 kills right now. Get some more shields. Uh, I don't like the damage that my temple guard have taken, though. They have taken a, a fair bit of damage. I've taken a fair bit of damage. Although, I'm not sure how many... Um, how many models they've lost. I mean, not that many, looking at it. I mean, that one's on 45, which is a little low. But generally, they seem to be doing okay. Alright, you're having a great old time. Uh, brilliant. Let's get another banishment on these hand gunners. Nice. Nicely done. Uh, really no no hope in hell of stopping Mazda Mundi and Croak as a combo. It's disgusting. It is absolutely disgusting. Like, I honestly just, I don't know what anyone would do to stop the amount of magic that we have access to here. It's obscene. It's absolutely obscene. Like, I'm spending so much of it, and yet we still have 197 in the tank. It's so much. It's just so much. Alright, Comet Cassandora. No need. No need to do that at all. They're probably going to break before that lands, but, you know, in case that's not the case. Oh. <laughs> Excellent. That's army losses. I am not surprised. I am not surprised. <laughs> Seriously, these two. I just can't believe that. Just after all of the spells we've done. We've done so many. We've done, what, three Comets of Cassandora? which cost 11 each. Uh, and then we've done, I mean, we did, I think, well, two of the big ones. We did, like, a couple of these as well. That's, that's 14, 14, 9, 9, like... I don't know, it's mad. Just so many spells, and yet so much still in reserve. Really crazy. Decisive victory. Okay. 
Jobs are good. Uh, so we're going to take this over. We are going to take this. We got an Ogre Blade. Lovely. And a bunch of enemy heroes dead. Don't seem that heroic to me. Cowards. Right, let's get the Geomantic Web steady. Don't need this stupid building. Don't need that. Don't need reclaimed tunnels. What are you playing at? Uh, this is for this is for skinks. That's silly. All right, we're doing a lot of remodeling. We're doing a lot of remodeling. Humans have really, really just made a right hash up of it. So let's get something. I don't know what. What do we need? Telekinesis. Let's get telekinesis. More missile resist is always nice. And Gullivec. Let's get. I guess Indomitable. Seems a bit pointless. Nah, thick skinned. And we can also get Scarred Veteran up too. And, oh, Lord Croak, level 20. We could make him immortal if he wasn't already Lord Croak. So, higher state of consciousness. Sounds great. So we'll get Chotek next. Praise the sun. And uh, then we will take Sacred Pools as well, I think. Because I feel like that's a good, uh, a good territory to have that just stops everything. From, you know, because that's the thing. Stuff can come in from anywhere around here and either decide to run off that way, this way, or that way. But taking sacred pools, it just means that we have something that they're probably all going to go towards. Maybe. Maybe. I hope that's how that'll play out, but I really can't say for certain. Uh, so, four more turns and we can upgrade to a holy ziggurat. We're going to need to. We're absolutely going to need to. Okay. What is next? Next is probably... Probably checking on what's-his-face over here. See if we can't get some more trade going. Have you moved this turn? No, you haven't. Good. Have we met anybody? It's a shame we can't pick that up. Real shame. Uh, okay, Wh where's... That's the Strigos Empire. Really? Wow. Okay, we're going to have to make landfall and see if we can find Camry somewhere. Because I'm not sure that they're alive. This has been a weird campaign. Like, most of the good guys have just failed miserably. Strange. I say the good guys. Skaven are all dead. <laughs> yeah, not really the good guys, are they? No, not so much, Janet. No. They eat people, Janet. Uh, although so do we, so, you know, kindred spirits. Ooh, ooh, no, old ones aren't going to like that. Don't tell them I said that. Uh, let's get a Corral Arena. It is uh, in the sun-baked arena that the great beasts of the jungle are turned to the service of the Lizardmen. I like to get exotic animals. In that as well. It acknowledges that they are a resource as well as, like, this is a recruitment building for them. Um, I'm, I'm really surprised, actually, that horses aren't a tradable resource in this game. But then I guess it would raise the question, if I don't have access to that tradable resource, then why can I recruit cavalry, right? But then I guess if the cavalry building gives you access to the resource of horses, then, like, I guess that explains it away, right? You spent the money to build that building and obviously get the horses that you are now breeding and selling, right? So, as as trade stock. But anyway, I, yeah, I think that'd be interesting as a, as a trade good. It would fit in to many rosters quite easily. Um, okay, yeah, let's end the turn one more time, see what happens. Alright, some raiding going on in the Monument of the Sun, which is very annoying. What are you doing with Dragon Ogres, mate? Come on. Talactaqua. Absolute joker. Uh, let's head over this way then with uh, with old uh, Tuatara. Because we're going to need to deal with him. Little swine. And let's go to Chotek. Praise the sun. And we should build this stuff as well. But we'll do that later. Uh, you you can take that. Good boy. There's, I was going to say we'll do this battle next episode. Because I'm trying to find a way to end the episode. But... Why would I make people wait for that? And we killed 3,000 enemies in battle. Good. Good for you. Okay, uh, we're going to have to go with walls, I think. I'd love to go with growth, but I really need to make sure that this stuff is safe um, before we do anything else, I think. Uh, could get Star Chamber. Ooh, that would be exciting. Although that puts up research rates and ambush chances and all sorts. Uh, so maybe I'll go with that first. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Anything else to build? I mean, we have been getting the shiny old ones everywhere. So I might get that for the extra income. I don't know how much income this area is really going to have. Let's get the star chamber built. Yeah, let's get that all done. Good. I mean, we are tier 4. 
here already, which is pretty good. Um, it's going to take a long time, though. We're getting, what, 135? Although, once I start getting the geomantic pylon up, we will get more from alignment of crafting. So that should help us a fair bit. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're getting the episode here, guys, but I'd say things are going well. And I dare say this is their last settlement. That is, we've wiped out the faction. That was real swift, because they're just getting attacked by so much other... Oh, no. This is all ruins, which means it's all Skaven. I think Ikitclaw might have taken over the continent, you know? Although, looks like Mukip is taking over some of the ruins. That's good news. And it also looks like the Defenders of the Great Plan are still fighting. I really wish you guys would try and complete this area, though. Like, get Wellsprings of Eternity, guys. All right. Okay. Let's end the episode. I'm Dilly Dallying. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Goodbye.